of the balance between entertainment on the one hand, especially given that my novel is a thriller um, and has those mystery elements that I think will be hopefully fun for people um, with twists and things like that. And then on the other hand, it, you know, the social elements and the social commentary about really important societal issues about immigration, about racism, about gender roles, um, about parenting and about the way that motherhood is portrayed in our society and how we view it, uh, uh, motherhood ourselves, um, as well as sort of the philosophical nature of justice and truth and what is truth and how do we blame, how do we assign blame when there are so many um, people who are involved in creating a certain situation. All of those are kinds of issues that I did try to balance with entertainment on, on one hand and, uh, you know, important societal issues on the other. And I guess for me, my favorite kinds of books are the ones that sweep me along in the story and do provide that entertainment, that propulsive um, element so that I really am into the story, but almost acts like a Trojan horse, you know, where you go in for the ride and you're not even sure. And then you realize, wait, uh, there's all these, you know, sort of important and um, maybe controversial issues that the author is bringing up that you didn't even really think about. And, and, and hopefully it's not done in a way, so it's lecturing at you, hopefully it's just through the characters' own lives and their situations and their dilemmas that are making the readers think, wow, like there is a dilemma in that situation that that character is facing. And I wonder how I would handle that. I wonder how my friends would handle that in my family. And those are the kinds of really fulfilling um, issues that I've had a chance to discuss with a number of book clubs um, here in the US and, you know, and also Canada and Europe and lots of um, different places through um, social media and virtual Zoom sessions and things like that. And it really is amazing to me how much people go into it in the very beginning of the reading session by saying, oh, I'm intrigued by this, you know, horrific situation that the author has set up. And, you know, is it murder? What is this trial about? And who's guilty? But then they really come out of it, not really even discussing that as much as all of the dilemmas and what is the nature of um, the philosophical issues at hand and the jurisprudential issues and all of those types of things. So I've really found that to be very fulfilling, that readers have seen value in both of those sides.